What's up, everybody, and welcome to yet another video. I know, I know, yet another Rings of Fire video, but don't worry, just one episode to go, and then I'm free, as free as a bird. Now, you know that I do cover these things, these episodes, when they come out. I uh, try to watch them as soon as possible, so I can I upload the videos as soon as possible, so that uh, it's, you know, done. I don't have to think about it anymore, but then you start to remember things that you didn't mention in the video and th th there is so much of it, there are so many hiccups, there are so many nonsensical things in that show that uh, if you want it, you could, theoretically, build an entire YouTube channel around it. This is not going to happen to my channel. I would die on the inside if I had to do it, but um, this time I didn't remember this time, uh, it's not uh, me who did the deed. I have to thank my friend on the internet, Stig, who pointed this out to me on Twitter. He tagged me and I was like, oh yeah, really? I didn't even realize that. Might be the fact because sometimes you just doze off. Sometimes you just start falling asleep. Wherever you're watching these shows, you, you might be watching it on your phone in the middle of a time, you know, the Times Square in the tube, in the subway, standing up, just watching the shows with your earbuds in, you just start dozing off. But uh, I, I don't go back usually to one episode when I remember something or when somebody just points something out to me. Um, but um, this is something that uh, only proves what I've been saying about the show all along, and that is not only does it not adapt the appendices to the Lord of the Rings and the Silmarillion, whatever, but also the show is of a very poor quality on its own. Now, there are so many plot holes, there are so many hiccups, there are so many uh, nonsensical things that the show, it, it doesn't only like contradict the law, but it contradicts itself within the, the two seasons within or in between episodes and sometimes within individual episodes. So that which you can see on the screen and this time I will not forget to put the picture there. Yesterday I made a video where I didn't record the sound so I had to record it uh, for, the, for the second time and uh, when I uploaded it for the second time, this time with the sound on, I forgot to add an important picture in the video that I was talking about talking about boomering things up again. So this time, please, European law, remember, this is what I'm referring to. The first season, there is no wall around Eregion. The second season, there is a wall. Now, some people might say, all right, so yeah, they built it in between seasons. How? There was virtually no time that passed between the two seasons. Uh, the second season started almost where the first season ended, if I'm not wrong. And don't try to don't try to argue with me with magic. Now this this ain't how magic works in Middle Earth, son. I know that uh, things work differently in the Rings of Power, in ways that I don't know. You find a hilt of a sword, you put it in a stone, uh, you turn it, and a volcano erupts, so that uh, activates uh, the creation of Mordor. <laughs> I know things work differently. Things work differently in, in such a way that um, Sauron Jesus puts his blood into the Nine Rings without Granny Calabrimbor knowing so that he can, uh, you know, make the Nine Men become his Nazgul. Right. I know things work differently, but um, this doesn't change anything. This is only what, you know, Stig is saying here. They wanted a bad as siege scene, a uh, cheap Chinese knockoff of, uh, well, actually, I shouldn't be saying Chinese, not because it would be racist, but because Chinese, they do produce quality stuff. I mean, all the action figures here that are around me were made in China. So cheap knockoff of um, the, the Helm's Deep battle scene. Uh, and it's not only that, I remembered one more thing from the, well, actually, do you think they used cheap workforce? That might be another explanation. Not not magic, but, well, never mind. I remembered one more thing uh, from the latest episode, and that is, um, there was, uh, I don't know who that was, but there was a scout, an elven scout, elvish scout being sent to Eregion, and he was uh, killed on the way. I think that it was all uh, done by Adar, 
And so they brought the corpse in front of um, Anatar, <laughs> the fake Anatar, and uh, it was like in the middle of a square in a region. There were a lot of people, a lot of elves, I mean, you know, running around because it was like just before the siege or whatever. And uh, so very openly in the middle of that square, there was a body of the dead scout lying there. And uh, Anatar said, um, hide the body or something like that. Don't tell anything about this. And I'm like, do you, did, do you know that guy who makes those like those those Instagram or TikTok videos? Where he sees people doing nonsensical stuff and then he just does it correctly and is like that guy. <sighs> there are people all around you. There's like 200 people have seen the body. You will not hide the. Ah, never mind. But another thing that I just remembered was uh, <laughs> from the scene, no, from the uh, an episode before that when uh, there was this. Um, once again, made up, never happened in the source material. Elendil <laughs> was accused of conspiring against uh, Farazon and uh, being faithful to Miriel, which is a crippled version of uh, the faithful um, in the book, but never mind. Um, and so they are about to throw him to the Kraken. Yes, there is a Kraken in the Rings of Power. And so the entire Enumenor was supposed to be there, you know, to watch this trial, this uh, near execution. And there was like 20 people there, standing on the, the cliff. And I was like, is this really? Is this really the whole of Numenor? Gee, so there you go. I mean, you don't have to be a Tolkien aficionado, such as myself. You don't have to be a literary aficionado, such as myself. You just need to see that the show is very poorly made. Well then, what can you do, my dear friends? I do do very wholesome and very uh, positive content on this channel. Otherwise, check out my uh, book reviews and my film reviews. I upload at least one a week. And for my channel members, I do post two to three recommendation uh, and slash mini reviews a week. So then we can discuss it uh, together and enjoy some good and wholesome sci-fi and fantasy stories. Uh, so should you wish to uh, join the channel, I shall post a link in the description down below to that uh, special channel membership. And that will be all. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Namariya.